musical instruments and melodies of steel pan and drums. We thank you for this memorable day, a day to be carved in our history as Desperados finds its new home here on Nelson Street, close to schools and young people who populate our pan yards. From the hills of Laventil to the little valleys of East Port of Spain, we have heard it sung and celebrated its achievement, local, regional, and international. Pour out your favor upon them and the priceless work we have seen. The youth being affirmed, loved, and supported. Teamwork, taught, and lived. Values passed on, spiritual, moral, and cultural. A safe zone and spiritual place a kind of church where evangelization takes place. Bless all the PAN stakeholders, the Honorable Prime Minister, our featured speaker, the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, and the Arts, and the Ministry of Youth Affairs, all tuners, panists, conductors, arrangers, benefactors, grungs, men and women, and patrons. Help us to value more deeply our culture and identity and to always tap into that rich, creative Caribbean belly. May this Panyard stand as a beacon of hope and a place where human flourishing is guaranteed and celebrated. In God's most mighty and musical name we pray, amen. Thank you, Father Martin. Let's be seated as we will now have a safety briefing. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shivanan Maharaj, manager HSSE for Udicott, and I'm also the chief warden for today's handover of the Udicott project, the Desperados Pan Theater. There are no emergency drills scheduled today. However, in the unlikely event there is an emergency, keep calm as you are further directed by our HSSE team. In keeping with health and safety standards, during an emergency, you shall be instructed towards the southwestern corner of the facility bounded by George Street. Persons on the stage are asked to exit the stage heading towards the staircase. Descend the staircase while using the handrails and proceed to the aforementioned muster point. Do enjoy this afternoon's handover ceremony. Thank you. Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, CARICOM Heads of Government, Senator The Honorable Randall Mitchell, Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, The Honorable Keith Scotland, Member of Parliament for Port of Spain South, Members of Cabinet, His Worship the Mayor, Alderman Joel Martinez, Mayor of the City of Port of Spain, Permanent Secretaries, Ms. Beverly Ramsey Moore, President of Pan Trinbago and members of the Executive. Mr. Russell Huggins, Chairman of Desperado Steel Orchestra and members of the board. Members of the Desperado's Executive and Band. Dr. Ingrid Lashley, Chairman of WITCO. Executives and staff of WITCO. Distinguished leaders of the Steel Pan Fraternity. Mr. Noel Garcia, Chairman of Unicot and members of the board. Mr. Mika Charles Phillips, CEO of Unicot, Unicot management and staff, captains of industry and commerce, specially invited guests, members of the media, members of the national public viewing live on TTT, CNC3, Unicot's Facebook page, Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts Facebook page, and listening on I-95.5 FM, Talk City 91.1 FM, and Freedom 106.5 FM. Ladies and gentlemen, what a blessed day today is. A very warm welcome to the official opening ceremony of the Desperados Pan Theater. I'm your host, Mark Andre Augustus. At this point in our program, I invite all speakers in the interest of time to shorten your salutations. And so, without hesitation, I call on His Worship Alderman Joel Mayor, Joel Martinez, Mayor of the City of Port of Spain, to deliver the opening remarks on this special occasion.
The Honourable Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Senator the Honourable Randall Mitchell, Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts. The Honourable Keith Scotland, Member of Parliament for Port of Spain South. Members of Cabinet, Permanent Secretaries. Ms. Beverly Man Ramsey Moore, President of Pantry and Bigo, and her executive. Mr. Russell Huggins, Chairman of Desperado Steel Orchestra and members of the board. Members of the Desperados Executive and Ban, Dr. English Lashley, Chairman of WITCO, Executives of WITCO, Distinguished Ladies of the Pan Steel Band Fraternity, Mr. Noel Garcia, Chairman of UDICOT, and the members of the board, Mr. Mika Charles Phillips, CEO of UDICOT, and UDICOT Management Staff, Captain of Industries and Commerce, specially invited guests, members of the media, members of the National Public Viewing on TTT, and the various other stations, distinguished guests and fellow Trinidadians. Welcome to the beautiful city of Port of Spain, a UNESCO designated city for music known as Happy Music. So today I am truly honored to be here to mark a historic moment in the city's cultural landscape. Today we officially open the Desperados Pan Theater, a long awaited and much deserved addition to our vibrant community. Let's give them a round of applause. The Desperado Steel Orchestra, or as we, fought, as we affectionately call them, Despers, are more than just a steel band. They are the very embodiment of our national identity, a testament to the people of music, to unite and inspire for decades. They have been at the forefront of the steel band movement pushing the boundaries of what is possible and bringing joy to audiences around the globe. And so it is only fitting that we gather here today to pay tribute to their legacy and to celebrate the opening of this magnificent theater, which will serve as a lasting testament to their contributions. But this is not just a moment for Despers. It is a moment for all of us a moment to recognize the rich cultural heritage of our city, to celebrate the diversity of our people, and to come together as one community to support the arts. And let us not forget that this theater is long overdue, but today we can finally say that they have come home, a place where they can showcase their talents and inspire the next generation of steel band musicians so, the Desperados, I say, thank you. Thank you for your dedication, your passion, and your unwavering commitment to culture. You are the founding fathers of Steel Band, and your legacy will live on through this theater. And the countless musicians who lived, who lives, and have touched, and have touched all of us. And to all of you here today, I say, let us celebrate this momentous occasion with pride and with joy. Let us come together as a community to support the arts and to honor this incredible legacy of the Desperado Steel Orchestra. Because when we do, we are not just celebrating the achievements, we are celebrating the very best of our talent and the very best of what it means to be Trinbegonian. So let us rise, raise our voices in sound and in celebration, and let us welcome the Desperado's Pan Theater to our great city with open arms. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly welcome to the podium the Honorable Keith Scotland, Member of Parliament for Port of Spain South, to deliver his remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. The Honorable Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Honorable Members of Cabinet, Honorable Members of Parliament, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Although I got the memo that the dress code was casual, the significance of this occasion to me, as a Member of Parliament for Port of Spain, meant that I can only wear my Sunday best. 
As I stand in this new facility, I want to utter two four-letter words, hope and faith. Hope because I have hope that this handing over marks the beginning of a new era for the organization and cultural endeavors in Trinidad and Tobago. I have hope when I remember the history of this steel orchestra as I research to prepare my brief remarks today. I am told that a few young persons in 1945 who called themselves the Morocco Dead End Kids got together on the hills in Laventille and formed an organization. From humble beginnings, Despers is now the 12 time Panorama Champions, have performed at the Royal Albert Hall for the late Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II at Carnegie Hall, and even with the opera genius Luciano Pavarotti in Barbados. In other words, despite being from humble beginnings, Despers has been instrumental, no pun intended, in the transformation of the image of Pan and the steel pan. Let this be a lesson for us all a lesson of hope, but it is also a lesson of fate. The journey of Despers clearly shows that your fate is not determined by where you came from or the challenges that you face, but it is determined partly by the opportunities that you seize. The fate of Despers and your continued success lies in your own hands. How much you can benefit this community lies not only in the hands of the government, but it lies primarily in the hands of you, Despers, and the community of East Porta Spain itself. Seize the moment. Let us continue to build strong communities in Trinidad and Tobago, as Despers has always done. It is therefore my hope that all of us will respect this space that we are in now. I hope that the entire community supports events that this facility will hold. And I want to say, having examined this facility, it is commensurate with the richness of our culture and the richness of our people. It represents, in the words of our Honour Prime Minister at the sort turning on the 17th of August 2021, an investment in our people. This government will continue to invest in our people. Therefore, in concluding, I want to say to all of us here and all of us listening, make this facility a beacon for the capital city. Make this facility a beacon for Trinidad and Tobago. Make this facility a beacon for the Caribbean and a beacon for the world. That is your fate. Make this facility a haven for young entrepreneurs, for young musicians, for young people. Make it a haven for the community. Despers has always been about community whether up on the hills in Despoli Crescent, or on Tragerit Road by Victoria Avenue, or now on Nelson Street. Make it a haven for community. This facility, for those of us who do not know, is part of the government's program of the revitalization of Port of Spain. And it is now a facility that I hope will prosper. Let it bear fruit and bring forth its fruit in a prosperous manner. So as I end, I want to leave us with some other four-letter words that will be at this facility. Apart from hope and faith, bring some care, bring some good, and most importantly, bring some love. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Keith Scotland. We will now be entertained by former Calypso monarch, Ms. Karine Ashe.
Pleasant evening, Honorable Dr. Keith Rowley, special ministers, invited guests. Winners never quit. I believe that desperados, everybody on a hold are winners. You just have to find that niche and eventually you'll get there. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's go. Oh, yeah. One thing in life that you must avoid Guarantee to drive you paranoid Negative people, oh gosh Negative people This just exists to kill your dream All your passion and your self-esteem Negative people, oh gosh Negative people You alone control how far you could go So take another road when they tell you no To make you feel gun shy is your only gain oh, oh. No matter how they try, they can't out your flame So no matter what you meet in life No matter the pain or strife Don't give up, no, 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 don't give up You only fail when you fail to try So don't even wait to spin with us
with us, never win. So no matter all the talk they talk, champions rise when the haters walk. Us never win. Yeah, so I have to cut it short and sweet and nice. <laughs> I'm doing one more, which is every knee shall bow. Yeah, that's my all time favorite, I guess. So we enjoy no words with this one, eh? Right. <laughs> this is a general song. At the time it was sung, we were showing words, but we're not on that right now. <laughs> From whence my solace come And wielding no sword My shield is the Lord But some here on earth match To a different drum Yes, they live to fight Feel that might is right For those who think to build Their own statue On Peter's they hide themselves They perch Human to you, so let them brag and boast. The last shall be first. For all who feel the Almighty was so big and powerful, calling the self majesty. Every knee shall bow. God alone is, He alone is, only one and only. To Him alone I bow. So whether you Material rust crumble into dust for all who feel the Almighty, important and powerful, christen the self majesty. Every knee shall bow, Jehovah alone is, He alone is, only one and only. To Him only I bow. Whether you have mansions. Shall bow. Why not go see me? Why? Oh, yeah. For I await the rolling thunder. To hear symbols clash and trumpets blow. I believe wrongdoers will go under. Like so long ago, back in Jericho. I wonder how our leaders sleep at night. Do they have a dream while poor people scream? The same ones who say they'll put the wrong things right. Once they reach on top, become more corrupt. To the grassroots cries become unconscious. Why family and friends, they Because they in charge, feel the larger than large. You want them, all who feel the Almighty, 
all conquering and powerful, emperor and majesty, every knee shall bow, Yahweh alone is omnipotent, all I am not true, to him only I bow. I now welcome to the podium Senator the Honorable Randall Mitchell, Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, to bring us his remarks. Thank you, Mr. Master of Ceremonies. I acknowledge Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, my cabinet colleagues here present, my parliamentary colleagues, especially the MP for Port of Spain South, Mr. Keith Scotland, members of the Desperado Steel Orchestra Organization, especially invited guests, all good afternoon. What a beautiful sight. It gives me great pleasure to stand here as Minister of Tourism, Culture, and the Arts at the opening of this state-of-the-art Desperados Pan Theater. And it is the same tremendous feeling that I get and I got when we relaunched the newly refurbished Exodus Steel Orchestra's Pan Yard. And it's the same feeling I get when you go into the phase two, pan groove, pan yard, and you're greeted with music, art, and culture. And when we go to rural communities in Surrey Village, in Lopino, and in Separia, and you see what those small villages and those organizations have done with their steel bands, it gives me great pride. And today I see that the supernovas and phase two, they have sent some spies, and I would point them out, they're on that table there. MPs, Demon Obrega, and Gonzalez. But it really is exciting to witness the steel pan movement working, building, and growing communities in Trinidad and Tobago. And while it is tempting for me to stand here on behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, and the Arts and take full credit for what is going on in our cultural space, I simply cannot. These projects and this movement arises out of the vision of the Honorable Prime Minister and the leader of our cabinet. The Prime Minister, a lover of Pan himself, and his belief in the pan movement arises out of his understanding of how it harnesses the power and potential of communities, the instruments, and the organizations themselves, and the steel band's ability to make us all disciplined and proud citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. And as well as his belief and our cabinet's belief, the government's belief in the revitalization of Port of Spain and in particular East Port of Spain with this facility. But at the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, we're always and also proud to associate ourselves and to support the other PAN facilities in East Port of Spain and of course the newly constructed and currently still being developed Carnival Museum. And we see East Port of Spain come alive during our recently passed Carnival period. And for that, I want to congratulate all the steel bands in the Port of Spain area 
but in particular, Pantrin Bagel, for really revitalizing, revitalizing and developing Pan in the way we know it to be and the way we know it should be. So, we have a lot of beautiful things up and coming with Pantrin Bagel. We have a number of new and renewed events and competitions coming up. They have announced their pan in the 21st century, which we support. And of course, a classical pan festival, which we will shortly disclose. Another one of the bright announcements is our lobby, along with Pan Trinbago and with the Steel Pan Trust of Trinidad and Tobago, our lobby to the United Nations General Assembly to have August 11th declared as World Steel Pan Day. And that is presently being developed in collaboration with the Ministry of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs. And we look forward to our lobby and for that application being made. So, but last but not least, I really want to thank the sponsors. In this case, WITCO, but all the sponsors of steel bands all over Trinidad and Tobago. We could not do it without you and in partnership with you. And I wish to thank you on behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts for your belief in the steel pan, your belief in Trinidad and Tobago and its communities and citizens. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Minister Mitchell. At this point in the program, we would like to extend welcome to the Honorable Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Philip J. Pierre. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly put your hands together for the Northwest Laventille Cultural Movement as they perform the Saraka, a blessing dance.
Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the dancers and drummers of the Northwest Lavender Cultural Movement. Let's now welcome the sponsor of the inimitable Desperados in the voice of the chairman of the West Indian Tobacco Company, Dr. Ingrid Lashley. As instructed, I say good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a privilege and honor for me to speak on behalf of my colleagues at West Indian Tobacco as we commemorate the official opening of the Desperados Pan Theater. Today, as a long-standing partner of the Desperados Steel Orchestra, we are pleased to share in this moment as the DSO, as we fondly refer to them in our corporate environment, receives this magnificent multipurpose building. This is certainly a groundbreaking project which sets a new standard for the integration of our PAN and our PAN theaters into their communities. This is one that is set to propel Desperados to an even higher level of excellence. Not only is this a place that they can call home, but it is also a home that can accommodate the interests of those they serve in the orchestra, around the community, and ultimately the residents of wider Port of Spain. Downtown Port of Spain has always been a vibrant hub of activity, and this new building with, will further enhance the city's reputation as a thriving business and cultural center not only in Trinidad and Tobago, but in the Caribbean as a whole. DESPA's presence in the Port of Spain area has always attracted large crowds. Patrons will now be able to sit and enjoy the music in the amphitheater setting. The new space also boasts an area allocated for the recording of live performances and special events for this pioneer of the national instrument. As a socially responsible corporate entity, we at West Indian Tobacco are proud of our history with the band. We were there from the days of the legendary Man with the Hammer, as Dr. M David Michael Rudder, OCC, referred to him. Rudolph Charles widened our relationship with the band to include training and development in corporate affairs for his, the members of his executive team. We are pleased that this has evolved into an innovative, sustainable business model, integrating aspects of corporate governance and management in the overall structure of the organization. Through our ongoing relationship, we will continue to do our part in capacity building and development in entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurship, financial management, networking and digital marketing to enable sustainable cultural practices. We see these skills as critical to the future of the band to effectively leverage and maximize the benefits of this gift from the government and people of Trinidad and Tobago. Excelling in such skills will provide new avenues of business for the orchestra so that their financial and social stability and sustainability are assured. Just as we are well-rooted in Trinidad and Tobago as a manufacturer for 118 years, we consider Desperados to be equally rooted in the cultural fabric of our beloved country. It is a historically important institution in our nation with an iconic past that embodies the beauty that can come from, from a struggle and a pioneering spirit. It has evolved into a structured organization containing rich institutional knowledge, which can be used to market the orchestra and the country and help others in the industry. This facility and the planned institutional strengthening can be used as models of learning and knowledge to optimize the business and entrepreneurial endeavors of the steel band movement. The capacity building training will prove beneficial, not just to the art form, but also to the growth of the national entrepreneurial spirit. 
The state-of-the-art facilities will be a beacon of hope and inspiration for future generations. The administrative office and classroom will enable the Desperado Steel Orchestra to teach music and hold outreach programs, attracting new players and new musicians, honing the skills of both veteran and rookie panis, and securing the future of our national instrument. As a company, West Indian Tobacco is driven to engage with all our stakeholders based on our environment, social, and governance agenda. This dictates that we constantly review how we impact the communities in which we operate, and by extension, the country. DESPAS continues to be a major part of our portfolio where the social aspect of that agenda is concerned. We remain committed to ensuring that this relationship is maintained and bolstered today and as the band progresses. We remain dedicated to supporting the growth of communities in which we operate and demonstrating our unwavering support for the ongoing progress of the steel band movement. <clears throat> I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to everyone involved in the project, from the architects and engineers to the construction workers and support staff, and especially those at Unicot. I congratulate the government of Trinidad and Tobago for their foresight and vision in setting the standard for new pan theaters. A special acknowledgement goes to those members of Desperados who provided input. You have all played an integral role in bringing the new Desperados Pan Theater to life. And for that, as a panist myself, and not a spy, but a member of the steering committee of Phase 2 Pan Grove, I will share the pride of the Desperados and the Desperados Pan Theater. This is more than a building. It is a new direction for the pan movement, one that represents the spirit of innovation and progress. It is indeed an example of what can be achieved when we work together towards a common goal for a better tomorrow. Thank you, and we look forward to our continued collaboration and the remarkable results that you have been able to achieve. I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lashley. I now call to the podium Mr. Russell Huggins, Chairman of the Desperado Steel Orchestra Company, to deliver his remarks. Good afternoon to each and every one of you. First of all, I will say I concur with the MC as to the salutations. Having been a supporter of Desperado Steel Orchestra from my teenage years, it was indeed an honor for me when I was asked and elected to sit on the board of directors. I am not here to extol the virtues of desperados. Enough of that has already been done. And these are well known and documented. Desperados has been and remains an integral part of the East Port of Spain landscape. The facility, I am told, is intended to be an integral part of the East Port of Spain redevelopment project. When I look at the building, it gives me, and I am certain everyone else, a peek into what new East Port of Spain would look like. The nomadic existence of the band is thankfully now at an end. Those who knew Despers would recall that is not our first pan theater. And that the joy, camaraderie, and togetherness which the previous pan theater 
was able to engender up the hill, as the area is more familiarly known, was prematurely brought to an end. It is our intention to use this new pan theater, coupled with the music of the Desperados, to reignite the joy, camaraderie, and togetherness which once existed. The corporate entity which is now, which is now known as Desperado Steel Orchestra has started work on development programs for, for the benefit primarily of the youth of East Portersville, which is an extension of what already exists. This is our main goal. The difference is that this new facility provides us with a physical setting to accomplish this goal. To take a cue from a former prime minister and parliamentary representative for Portersville South, the future of the steel orchestra lies in the talents of our youth. We have skilled and experienced musicians in the orchestra who are ready, willing, and able to impart their talent and knowledge to the younger ones. It is therefore with a deep sense of joy and gratitude on behalf of the board and a board of directors, seniors, especially two of whom are present here this afternoon, Thunderbolt Williams, and my very dear friend, Kenneth Charles, Casey, whom I call the Towel Man. Members and players, well-wishers and supporters, I say thanks to the government, to, well, to the Honorable Prime Minister, the government of Trinidad and Tobago, and the people of Trinidad and Tobago for providing us with this new facility. I want to give you the promise that as long as I remain on the board, this facility will not suffer the faith suffered by the previous one. Whatever energies are left with me in my not so young age, I will utilize to ensure that this pan theater is put to the use for which I am certain the government intends that it be put. So again, on behalf of my band, I want to extend to you, Honorable Prime Minister, and your government our sincerest thanks for this facility. And the next time you come here, it will be to launch our musical school, which is the first thing on our agenda. I thank you. Thank you, Chairman Huggins. At this point, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of the Secretary General of CARICOM, Dr. Carla Barnett. <laughs> Let's sit back now and enjoy the strains of Black Sage singing Steel Band Clash. Good afternoon to my Prime Minister. Good afternoon to my Parliamentary Representative my Minister of Tourism and Culture, my Mayor of Port of Spain, all specially invited guests and dignitaries, and most of all, the supporters of Steel Band and Desperados. But there was a time in our Steel Band history, before the mass route was regulated, it was not uncommon for two Steel Bands to be approaching each other on the same street. The Pan Man being the courageous person he was, none of them wanted to give way. So their supporters would engage in some very robust demonstration of their support, and that's putting it very, very nicely. One of these steel band clashes took place in 1950 on Park Street between Invaders and Tokyo. It was immortalized in song by Lord Blakey in 1954. Of course, Blakey was only able to sing the song four years after the event, because, you know, he was on a little holiday, we could call it that, and it's putting it mildly. 
Maestro, give me the decode, please. Everybody knows this song. Show them how we support our culture, okay? It was a bacchanal. It was a bacchanal. 50 carnival. Fight for soul between the traders and Tokyo. My friend run and left his hat. When they hit him a baseball bat, never me again to jump in a steel man in Port of Spain. Invaders beating sweet, coming across Park Street. Tokyo coming down, they were beating slow. Mama, when them two band clash, if you see cut lash. Port of Spain, if you see sledge passing, and if you see planner sing, husband and wife, man they had to run for the life, an Indian man selling bread, man he said boy today are dead, never me again, to jump in a steel man in Port of Spain. The place was really hot, and if you see man get caught, Lord Blakey run inside by an old lady, quite under the lady bed. A bottle find me and bust my head, never me again, to jump in a steel man in Port of Spain. Well, those days are gone. All the band clashes done. It's talent and skill. Look at the nice place that Despa's built. So I have to compliment Despa's Unicot and my government. I can't wait again to jump in a steel band and put a spin. And me making sport. Look at how much support. Even Moko Jumbi come to support culture in this country. So I have to be quite frank to desperados. I have to say thanks. I am very glad. Keep on pushing the culture of Trinidad. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. My keyboardist is Mr. Errol John. Thank you, Black Sage and Errol John. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure <laughs> to welcome to the lectern the Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keith Rowley, to deliver today's feature address. Thank you very much, our Master of Ceremonies. Notwithstanding the instructions of the Master of Ceremonies, I think it's time for us to acknowledge those who've gathered here today on this very important occasion. Permit me, as Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, to extend our first greetings to the Secretary General of CARICOM, who has joined us. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to Desperados and Theater. I would also like to take the opportunity to acknowledge the presence of my cabinet colleagues, because I've heard it said very often during the program, thanks to the Prime Minister. But understand that none of these resources come out of my own pocket. It is the taxpayers' money, and it can only be spent with the agreement of the cabinet. So today I have pleasure in acknowledging here, in support of this venture, my cabinet colleague, the Member of Parliament for 
Diego Martin Central, the Minister of Communication, Member of Parliament, Minister of Housing, Mrs. Carmen Robbins Munoz, the Minister of Public Utilities, Minister Marvin Gonzalez, the Minister of Tourism, Senator Andal Mitchell, and of course, we have with us the disobedient mayor of Port of Spain, who does not carry the instructions. And of course, we acknowledge all his members of council. And I would like to acknowledge in his Sunday best, the member of parliament for Port of Spain South, um, uh, member of parliament, King Scotland. All my other colleagues who might be here with us this evening, I want to add to that acknowledgement of the permanent secretaries of the various ministries, mainly the Office of the Prime Minister and the Ministry of uh, Finance and the Ministry of Culture. Special acknowledgement to the head of Pan Trimbego, Ms. Beverly Ramsey Moore, and members of the Pan Trimbego Executive, Mr. Russell Huggins, the newly minted chairman of Despers, Dr. Ingrid Lashley, chairman of Ritko, the sponsor, members of the business community, executive members of other steel bands. This is the era when steel bands come together to celebrate the success of another steel band. Mr. Noel Garcia leading the team from Udicott, delivering once again another Udicott project. Members of the media, distinguished members of our national community following us on uh, our live public viewing. Ladies and gentlemen, children, Today, I'm happy to be back here. I was here just over a year ago to turn this out for this project. And I made a lot about what it entails, not the least of which public expenditure in support of a steel band. So today, I want, among other things, to say two things, making two points. One, infrastructure by itself does not an organization make. A pan theater, as excellent as it is, does not success guarantee. It's a tool towards an end, a great end. That end which has brought with us here this evening, the head of DOMA, Roy Cape, the captain of my steel band, Desiree, and others. We are here today in support of the fact that the cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago took the decision to make this, these resources available to create this facility. And the reason being that we see Port of Spain, the capital city, as the main engine of the national community. A city that is alive and well and functioning properly becomes an integral part and remains an integral part of the economy of that nation. And that is why this government which I lead have paid particular attention to ensuring that the city of Port of Spain does not die, but on the contrary, it continues to thrive and to go from strength to strength. I also want to say that you heard the chairman say that Despers has had the opportunity before to have had a pan theater upon the hill in Laventil. That did not live up to the expectation for a variety of reasons. But on this occasion, I want to say to Despers that even though you are downtown Port of Spain in a brand new facility, Despers is of Laventil, and Despers is Laventil, and Despers must never leave the people of Laventil behind. What the cabinet has done is to invest in the success that the steel band movement has become, and to dream the dreams that pan men and organizers of pan as to how far pan could go. There's a calypso that laments in negative terms the failure of PAN to reach the heights that PAN could reach. Today, we have the cabinet saying 
that we are giving a hand to assist the pan to reach where we think it could reach. Despers, you are in fact the custodian of significant public trust and a public asset called the Despers Pan Theater. And as I said the last time, you are in fact the trustees of this for and on behalf not only of Despers Pan movement, but of the steel band movement in total. What we would like to see is that this community contribute to the building of Port of Spain. And if Port of Spain grows, then so grows the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. The location of this facility allowed us to make this investment because it was such propitious. It was such a good place to have, up until recently, the most successful steel band in the city of Port of Spain, if success can be measured in some way by the number of panorama victories. I think renegades have joined Despers in that. And of course, the battle is to see who will go ahead. I think invaders will pass them eventually, but what are you laughing? That is a joke now? I'm serious. Anyway, it matters not who leads as long as Pan gets to where Pan could go as a culture of Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what we have handed here to the management, players, and supporters of Desperados is an opportunity to conduct not just Pan playing, but to conduct a business in music, and more importantly, to train generations of people in more than just music and chords, but in discipline, tolerance, and production. And that is why I'm particularly happy to hear that the next time I'll be invited here is to see the kickoff of the Desperados Pan School. Because that is one of the areas where the steel band movement can and will be strengthened. Counting the number of uh, locations that the band would have performed is one thing that we get a lot of pride from. But what about the hundreds of other places that sections of the band can go, sometimes all at once? It is not every venue that will invite or accept or handle the logistics of a large steel band, 100 players. But there are very many venues for which a stage side, even a quintet, can provide steel band music around the world to support those who engage in the display of that kind of talent. Our talent is immense. And the thing about it, it's not only Despers and Port of Spain and East Port of Spain. It runs from Charlottesville in Tobago to La Brea to Carnage to Sangre Grande. Every part of this country, you would meet steel band talent and steel band players wanting to display their wares, not only to the community, but to the world. This theater, we expect, will be used not only by desperados and those who handle the keys for the compound, but should be available to all steel band groups that would like to perform here at different times for one reason or the other. And Despers would be their host and would encourage them in that. So the national community from wherever you are and visitors night and day can come here to what would become, I'm sure, a world-renowned location. The same way Carnegie Hall is known in New York with time and with a good outcome, Despers Pan Theater in Port of Spain could be an address that is coveted by every visitor to Trinidad and Tobago. And what would be nice is when they come here, they could taste the flavors at times of a little bit of All Stars, a little bit of Phase Two, a little bit of Invaders, and a whole lot of Desperados. That is what's gonna make Trinidad and Tobago a unique place in the world because there's nowhere in the world 
where you can have that kind of talent presented to the world just by just walking up the street and entering a compound like this. Ladies and gentlemen, the development program of Trinidad and Tobago has seen a lot of expenditure in the last eight years. Developing a lot of things, some of them close to abandonment. But this expense, this resource, is one that has a future that is brighter than any star in Trinidad and Tobago in the cultural area at this time. I want to say to the management of Desperados, it would be a shame if you fail to engender the high standards that are expected of you to preserve this place as a place of peace, a place of security, and a place of cultural morality. Tomorrow, the Secretary General and myself and some other CARICOM colleagues, we meet in Port of Spain to discuss the acknowledgement of a troubling new normal in our region, and that is violence as a public health issue, violent crime as a crisis. It would be a shame and a national disgrace if whenever we hear about Despa's Pan Theater is an item of news where somebody was violent to somebody else. Avoid that at all cost. Do not encourage it in any way. On the contrary, let it be a place where parents can feel that if their children come here to learn music or to meet a friend or just to listen to the band practice, that it is a place where they are in absolute safety and sound operations go on here. This is a national investment and we are going to be judged by its success or its failure. I have confidence in Trinidad and Tobago. I have confidence in the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I have confidence in the pan men and pan women of Trinidad and Tobago, and I know you will do us proud if you're guided in the right direction. Our future is bright, and we must make it brighter, and we must take the opportunity that is given to us to strengthen and not to complain and not contribute. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a contribution in dollars and cents, in concrete and steel, in paint. But the real contribution would be in musical notes and good order and the belief in Trinidad and Tobago that we have a talent, we have a culture that is unique in this unkind and bustling world. Ladies and gentlemen, a number of other steel bands have made similar investments in and around the city and outside of the city. And I anticipate that that will generate a flow of events that will strengthen us culturally. We will be able to come out on many evenings and go to various locations in our country and participate in imbibing that human condition of listening to music, watching drama, children, adults, Calypsolians, music writers, there's so much that we can do. The promise is infinite, if only we can keep it alive. And I too will join Chairman Huggins in saying that we will not tolerate substandard in this place. And I want Despers to join me in that. Let it be not only a beacon, but a template of what can happen in a pan yard, what a pan group can become, what an orchestra can become. And many of us would sit here eventually, maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but I have confidence that sometime in the future, we will sit in Trinidad and Tobago and watch exponents of these talents on the world stage, playing music, being received with red carpets, acknowledging that they came from the streets and the hills of Trinidad and Tobago. Let this be a beginning. Let it not be an end of a gift. Let it be a beginning of a life of which we all can be proud. So I want to thank you, Dicot, for completing this project in the way you have done. I want to thank the staff who have managed and the contractor and his team. 
and I want to finally thank Despers for agreeing, agreeing with the government to take this responsibility and make it work for all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And may Almighty God continue to smile on us and bless us richly as we think we deserve. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now have the cutting of the ribbon, after which the Prime Minister and his entourage, consisting of the Mayor, Minister Mitchell, MP Scotland, Whitcourt Chairman, Despers Chairman, Udicott Chairman, and the CEO, will unveil the commemorative stone. So while the cutting of the ribbon and the unveiling of the commemorative stone will take place, we invite our visitors in the bleachers to avail themselves of some refreshments from the food court. Kindly allow the Prime Minister and his entourage to proceed to the facility by themselves.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our opening ceremony concludes with a tour of the facility to the accompaniment of the Southeast Port of Spain Steel Orchestra. Do avail yourselves of some refreshments and continue to observe the protocols and enjoy the concert on this very blessed day. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Desperados concert begins now. Please welcome Whitco Desperados. <laughs> 